Hi, this is a short video about dry point etching. Um, we've got some foil packets from a takeaway box that I've used to etch into. Um, we've got the acetate, the plastic sheet that I've already showed you in the session. Now, what you can see here is the two initial prints that I took. Uh, these are very light and the, the lines can hardly be seen. Now, now what you have to do when you're working with uh, a group or pupils is if the first print doesn't come out very well, then is to work more into the plate. This is the plate, remember, you can see on this side where it's darker. That's where the ink has taken up more lines because I've scratched and etched into it much, much more. So here was the initial print. This was print one and I've etched into it more. And then it's printed out and I've, you can see that over here because a print prints in the opposite direction so this side is dark and then that that goes into the print the press this way and it is revealed off the paper you can see that this section is slightly darker and more developed than this section similarly on here we've got the foil uh, backed card that I've etched into. This was the original print, which really didn't work out too well. And then just to show you how further developing your etching, going back to the table, using your scratching etching tool to, to draw back into your image and then putting it back through the press. And you can see there's quite a significant difference um, in the print now. And this, I just did one small section, worked further into that. And then this is the resultant print.